Hey everyone, today we're looking at uh, rope bags and we have two here. We have the DMM Pitcher and the DMM Classic. So let's start off with features of the Pitcher. We have a uh, construction which is very durable waterproof material, same for the Classic. We have a drawstring closure style system here and uh, on back we have uh, webbing straps here which can be adjusted from the top or from the bottom. Um, we have a 30 litre capacity here, or in climbing terms, about one 80 metre rope that can store in there comfortably with a little bit more room for shoes and what have you. Um, so the picture is basically a, a no frills, low cost climbing uh, rope storage bag. There isn't a lot to it. Um, inside, you have this tarpaulin here which you can actually splay out over the ground so if the ground is wet or there's dew you know your rope can be protected from the elements as well as the other climbing gear as well and also the tarpaulin on each corner um, you have these webbing tags here and the idea is that you can just uh, tie the end of your rope to one tag in one corner the other end of your rope to the other corner and then that just avoids any kind of tangling issues. So that is the DMM Pitcher. So we'll move over to the Classic. So the Classic is kind of an upgrade, hence why it's more expensive. The Pitcher you can get for about £22, $35, and the Classic we're looking at about £35, $40. So there's a few extra features here. So this is the front of the bag, and you've got a couple of buckles here. And this just helps the bag stop it from bulging, keep it in shape. And then you've got a zip closure system here. So the idea is you just lay the bag down, unzip it and bang, there's all your stuff right there. Again, it's got the tarpaulin, um, exactly the same capacity. Okay. So a few other features about the Classic is it's got uh, a neat little pocket here, zip closure. Just a nice little feature here, you can put tape in, scissors and so on and so forth. Um, and it also features uh, slightly more comfortable straps here, which is nice and padded here. Um, so it's got kind of a rucks uh, rucksack style system. But if you didn't like that, you can have the option to take this one off here. And then you just convert it into sort of a, a courier style system where you can just have this one strap going across your chest. But uh, basically that's the classic. Let's bring the picture back in. So both bags, you know, fairly, fairly good, huge capacity. Um, I've been using the picture as my main bag for the past couple of months and I saw my 60 meter single rope in here um, and that only fills up about half the bag so I can then store a couple of pairs of shoes, water, um, loads of quick draws, my harness, cams and you know that that pretty much fills it up but I mean huge capacity um, and for the price you know either bag is a winner. Um, some things that I don't like about the picture is that this um, this little lace closure system here when the bag is full I mean, there's still a hole at the top. So if it's raining or drizzling, you know, your gear, moisture is gonna creep in there, which is a bit annoying. You know, I would have liked a little kind of flap over here. Um, and as well, the, the webbing straps aren't that comfortable when the bag is full either. But, you know, hey, I, could, I can very easily upgrade to the Classic at any point. I probably will. Um, but to be honest, the picture for the price, I mean, it's an absolutely fantastic bag. So I would say if you're in the market for a rope bag and you're on a budget, the picture is the way to go. Um, if you can, spend a little bit more money and get the classic here and you'll just get more comfort and of course the little pouch as well. So there we go, I hope you found this review helpful. This is the DMM Picture Rope Bag and the DMM Classic Rope Bag. Check out some of our other videos.